East Malaysia, Malaysia Timur, also known as Sabah, Sarawak and Labuan, Sabah, Sarawak Dan Labuan, or Malaysian Borneo, is the part of Malaysia on the island of Borneo, the world's third largest island. It consists of the Malaysian states of Sabah, closer to the Philippines than the west of the country, Sarawak in the west and the federal territory of Labuan. Labuan is an island in its small archipelago of the same name due north of Brunei, its closest land mass is with Sabah. It lies to the east of Peninsular Malaysia, West Malaysia, the part of the country on the Malay Peninsula. The two are separated by the South China Sea. East Malaysia is less populated and overall less developed in its settlements than its west which contains Kuala Lumpur and Penang however its land mass is larger and it has more of many natural resources including oil and gas reserves. City status award is restrained in the pan-regional style so reserved to Kuching, Kota Kinabalu, and Miri, Victoria, Labuan for example is an offshore financial center and major port. In ecology it has a significant proportion of the biodiverse Borneo lowland rain forests and Borneo montane rain forests. History Some parts of present-day East Malaysia, especially the coastal regions, were once part of the Thalassocracy of the Sultanate of Brunei. However, most parts of the interior region consisted of independent tribal societies. In 1658, the northern and eastern coasts of Sabah were ceded to the Sultanate of Sulu while the west coast of Sabah and most of Sarawak remained part of Brunei. Beginning in the mid-19th century, Sabah and Sarawak became British protectorates, and, in 1946, they became separate British colonies. Federation Sabah, formerly British North Borneo, and Sarawak were separate British colonies from Malaya, and did not become part of the Federation of Malaya in 1957. However, each voted to become part of the new Federation of Malaysia along with the Federation of Malaya and Singapore in 1963. Previously, there were efforts to unite Brunei, Sabah, and Sarawak under the North Borneo Federation but that failed after the Brunei Revolt occurred. Sabah and Sarawak retained a higher degree of local government and legislative autonomy than other states in West Malaysia. For example, both states have their own immigration controls, requiring Malaysian citizens from West Malaysia to carry passports or identity cards when visiting East Malaysia. The islands of Labuan were once part of North Borneo, later Sabah, in 1946 before becoming a federal territory in Malaysia on 1984. It was used to establish a center for offshore finance in 1990. Since 2010, there has been some speculation and discussion, at least on the ground level, about the possibility of secession from the Federation of Malaysia because of allegations of resource mishandling, illegal processing of immigrants, etc. Administration It has been a source of debate whether the states of Sabah and Sarawak joined the Federation of Malaysia as equal partners with Malaya and Singapore or whether they became merely equal partners of the states of Malaya, Peninsular Malaysia. The consensus seems to be that Sabah and Sarawak are merely states of the Federation with a slightly higher degree of autonomy compared to states in Peninsular Malaysia. For example, the East Malaysian states have separate laws regulating the entry of citizens from other states in Malaysia, including the other East Malaysian state, whereas, in Peninsular Malaysia, there are no restrictions on interstate travel or migration, including visitors from East Malaysia. There are also separate land laws governing Sabah and Sarawak, as opposed to the National Land Code, which governs Peninsular Malaysia. With regard to the administration of justice, the courts in East Malaysia are part of the federal court system in Malaysia. The Constitution of Malaysia provides that there shall be two high courts of coordinate jurisdiction, the High Court in Malaya and the High Court in Sabah and Sarawak, formerly the High Court in Borneo. The current Chief Judge of Sabah and Sarawak is David Wong Dok Wa from Sabah. His office is the fourth highest in the Malaysian judicial system, behind the Chief Judge of Malaya, President of the Court of Appeal, and Chief Justice of Malaysia. Politics In 1976, all the Sabah and Sarawak MPs supported the Malaysian Parliament Bill which downgraded both the states from equal partners to one of the 13 states in the Federation. 
Sarawak, Sabah and Labuan currently holding a total of 57 out 222 seats 25.68% in the Malaysian parliament with majority of the seats going to the ruling coalition Barisan Nasional ever since the two states hold their first state elections. However, Jeffrey Kitingen from Sabah, who is vocal of East Malaysian rights, is concerned that the number of seats from East Malaysia is underrepresented in the Malaysian parliament as compared to the ideal representation of 35% stated in the Kabuld Commission report. After the conclusion of 2013 Malaysian general election, East Malaysia contributed a total of 47 parliamentary seats 35.34% out of the 133 seats won by the Barisan Nasional Coalition following the Barisan dismal performance in peninsular Malaysia. This has resulted in increase in ministers and deputy ministers allocation for East Malaysia in the Malaysian cabinet from 11 out of 57 portfolios in 2008 election to 20 out of 61 after the 2013 election. On the basis that East Malaysia should be treated as an equal partner as compared to the peninsula, local lawmakers have urged the federal government since the year 2011 to appoint at least one deputy prime minister from East Malaysia to the federal cabinet. Political parties in Sarawak and Sabah evolved independently of each other. Party switching and party leadership tussles are common in both the states. Physical geography The landscape of East Malaysia is mostly lowland rain forests with areas of mountain rain forest towards the hinterland. The total area of East Malaysia is 198,447 square kilometers, representing approximately 60% of the total land area of Malaysia and 26.4% of the total area of Borneo, which is 50% bigger than peninsular Malaysia at 132,156 square kilometers, 51,026 square miles, comparable with South Dakota or Great Britain. East Malaysia contains the five highest mountains in Malaysia, the highest being Mount Kinabalu at 4,095 meters, which is also the highest mountain in Borneo and the tenth highest mountain peak in Southeast Asia. It also contains the two longest rivers in Malaysia, Rajang River and Kinabatangan River, Bangji Island in Sabah and Bruit Island in Sarawak are the two largest islands that are located entirely within Malaysia. The largest island is Borneo, which is shared with Indonesia and Brunei. The second largest island is Sabatic Island, in Sabah, which is shared with Indonesia. Sarawak contains the Mulu Caves within Gunung Mulu National Park. Its Sarawak Chamber is the largest known cave chamber in the world. The Gunung Mulu National Park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in November 2000. Sabah's attractions include World Heritage Site Kinabalu Park, which includes Mount Kinabalu, and Sipadan Island, a diving and biodiversity hot spot. Geology Several oil and gas fields have been discovered offshore, including the Samarang Oil Field 1972, offshore Saba, the Baronia Oil Field 1967, offshore Sarawak, and the Central Luconia Natural Gas Fields 1968, also offshore Sarawak. The Baronia Field is a domal structural trap between two east-west growth faults, which produces from late Miocene sandstones interbedded with siltstones and clays at 2 km depth and 75 meters of water. The Samarang Field produces from late Miocene sandstones in an alternating sequence of sandstones, siltstones and clays in an anticline at a depth of about 3 km in water 9 to 45 meters. The central Luconia gas fields produce from middle to late Miocene carbonate platform and pinnacle reefs from 1.25 to 3.76 km deep in water depths 60 to 100 meters. Population the total population of East Malaysia in 2010 was 5.77 million, 3.21 million in Sabah, 2.47 million in Sarawak, and 0.09 million in Labuan, which represents 20.4% of the population of Malaysia. A significant part of the population of East Malaysia today reside in towns and cities. The largest city and urban center is Kuching, which is also the capital of Sarawak and has a population of over 600,000 people. Kota Kinabalu is the second largest, and one of the most important cities in East Malaysia. Kuching, Kota Kinabalu, and Miri are the only three places with city status in East Malaysia. 
Other important towns include Sandakan and Tawau in Sabah, Cebu and Bintulu in Sarawak, and Victoria in Labuan. The earliest inhabitants of East Malaysia were the Dayak people and other related ethnic groups such as the Kadazan Dusan people. These indigenous people form a significant portion, but not the majority, of the population. For hundreds of years, there has been significant migration into East Malaysia and Borneo from many parts of the Malay archipelago, including Java, the Lesser Sunda Islands, Sulawesi, and Sulu. More recently, there has been immigration from India and China. The indigenous inhabitants were originally animists. Islamic influence began as early as the 15th century, while Christian influence started in the 19th century. The indigenous inhabitants are generally partisan and maintain culturally distinct dialects of the Malay language, in addition to their own ethnic languages. Approximately 13% of the population of Sabah, and 26% of the population of Sarawak, is composed of ethnic Chinese Malaysians. However, the demography of Sabah has been altered dramatically with the alleged implementation of Project IC in the 1990s. Citizenships are alleged to be granted to immigrants of Indonesia and Philippines in order to keep the UMNO ruling party in power. Royal Commission of Inquiry RCI, has been conducted from of August 2012 to of September 2013. The outcome of the investigation was submitted to the Prime Minister on 19 May 2014. The report was released on 3 December 2014 after six months delay. It stated that Project IC might have existed, which was responsible for a sudden spike in the state population. However, the report did not pinpoint any responsibility except for corrupt officials who took advantage of the system. Education East Malaysia currently has two public universities, namely University Malaysia Sarawak Unimas, and University Malaysia Sabah UMS. University Technologi Mara UITM, also has branch campuses in both states. Labuan's own institution of higher education is University Malaysia Sabah Labuan International Campus, which has a branch in Sepinger Bay, Kota Kinabalu. All prospective university entrants from Sabah, Sarawak, and Labuan must sit the examinations of one matriculation college, Kolej Matriculasi Labuan. UCSI University, Sarawak Campus, University College of Technology Sarawak, UCTS, Tunku Abdul Rahman University College, Sabah Campus, International University College of Technology Twintech, Sabah Campus, and Open University Malaysia, Sabah Campus, have local private university branch campuses in East Malaysia. Curtin University, Malaysia and Swinburne University of Technology Sarawak Campus are foreign university branch campuses in Sarawak. There are four teacher training colleges Malay, Maktab Perguruan, in Sarawak, and four teacher training colleges in Sabah. Transport the Pan-Borneo Highway connects Sabah, Sarawak, and Brunei. The road has been poorly maintained since it was built. The narrow road is dark at night without any street lights and there are many danger spots, sharp bends, blind spots, potholes, and erosion. However, federal government funds have been allocated for the upgrade of the highway, which will be carried out in stages until completion in 2025. The major airports in East Malaysia are Kuching International Airport, Labuan Airport and Kota Kinabalu International Airport. There are frequent air flights by carriers including Malaysia Airlines, MAS, and AirAsia between East Malaysia and Peninsular Malaysia. Other ports of entry to East Malaysia include Cebu Airport, Bintulu Airport, and Miri Airport in Sarawak, Sandakan Airport and Tawau Airport in Sabah. MAS also operates international flights to major cities in East Malaysia. The rural areas in Borneo can only be accessed by air or riverboat. River transport is especially prevalent in Sarawak because there are many large and long rivers, with Rajang River being the most used. Rivers are used by boats and ferries for communications i.e. mail and passenger transport between inland areas and coastal towns. Timber is also transported via vessels and log carriers down the rivers of Sarawak. The Labuan Ferry operates boat express and vehicle ferries from Labuan Island to Sabah, Sarawak and Brunei. Ferries have overtaken air travel as the chief transportation mode on and off the island. 
Security The state of Sabah has been subjected to attacks by Moro pirates and militants since the 1960s and intensification in 1985, 2000, 2013. The Eastern Sabah Security Zone ESSZONE, and Eastern Sabah Security Command ESSCOM, were established on 25 March 2013 to tighten security in the region. Since 2014, a 12-hour dusk-to-dawn curfew has been imposed on six Sabah East Coast districts. References External links Virtual Malaysia, the official portal of the Ministry of Tourism, Malaysia Bibliography Andrew Harding and James Chin, 50 Years of Malaysia, Federalism Revisited, Marshall Cavendish 2014, Cabinet Memorandum. Policy in regard to Malaya and Borneo. Memorandum by the Secretary of State for the Colonies. The 29th of August 1945. Manila Accord, the 31st of July 1963. Exchange of notes constituting an agreement relating to the implementation of the Manila Accord of 31 July 1963 Acts of the Parliament of the United Kingdom Malaysia Act 1963 Agreement relating to Malaysia between United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Federation of Malaya, North Borneo, Sarawak and Singapore